quick, I'm going to cook up probably one little melody so you guys can see the process. And also on top of that, you can see, you know, what I'm doing and I can break a little bit of um, theory or whatever down to y'all as I'm making it. So let's go. Once you put it down, the best thing you can do if you didn't do any uh, like trills such as this. You know, if you didn't do anything like that, then you should be straight. But um, if you did, then you may want to go back and look at it. But after I made the melody, what I normally do is just shift Q, control A, then I will zoom in. And I'll find one of the notes to where the end is and I'll slide it over, like slide it over. And I still have the steps on like one fourth or one half or whatever. So it's a huge dramatic pullover. So now, because with the way that Ample Guitar is, once it overlaps a note, it just immediately cuts off. So to stop it from doing that, you know, I just, like I said, just highlight everything and just dramatically bring it over to where you can't, you know, because you can do this, but when you pull it over, it can't go any further than the smallest note. So that's why I do it that way. And then from there, I will slide it over. So sometimes people will do is they'll go up to the magnet and they'll click on none and then they'll slide it over. That's cool. But in order for you to just keep it on here, here's a little shortcut. If you hold alt and you click it, well, you gotta actually click on the note, hold it, and then hold Alt, and then you can slide it over. And that's the easiest way and just the quickest way to do things because like I said, when you're in the stew and whatnot, cooking up an artist, and you know, you're making a melody or whatever, you just need to go straight on to the next thing. And that's why I say when you have reverb on the settings, you don't even have to worry about it. You know, the note just kind of, cutting off so instantly the best thing like i said when you do that and just drag it over you know just a tab it to where it's like it's not touching anywhere so from this point you can just listen to it and now what you don't want is in the melody where it kind of just gets off. And what you want to do is find where wherever it's at and just, you know, and just fix it. The best thing you can do is highlight it. So the quickest way to bring up the highlighting tool is to hold control, right click over it, and then just bring it over and it'll highlight it. And then from that point, you could control L and it'll shorten it. And then just bring it over, you know, as far as you can so that the first note can extend straight on to here. All right, so another thing, because of the fact that I did this in one fourth, the best thing you can do is just put it in a half. In a situation like this where I'm not da -da 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 -da, like just going crazy, it's just simple. All you have to do is quantize it again, control A, and then hold, you gotta left click, hold it, and then just drag it on over, you know? and then take a listen to it again. So now it should be a lot more better than what it was at first. All right, so now from this point, I mean, the, the melody is basically done. Now, what I did here in order for me to cut the note so quick or well, without having to bring up the slicer is I'll hold shift and then I would right click and drag it up. The shifts actually do matter. 
It's not the left shift. It's actually the right shift. So what you want to do is hold the right shift, uh, right click, and then you'll see the red. So if we're looking at this note exactly, and if I drag this down, this side of the note will get cut off. It will just be deleted. But if I did it over here, it's going to do the same thing, delete this side. Because what it's going to do is going to cut the shortest end of the note and just take it all completely out. Now, if it's like this, uh, where it's just even, most likely it'll just take the right side of it out. Now, when you left click, you can also do the blue, which will just cut it wherever you cut it at, wherever you sliced it at. It'll just cut it right there. Same thing here, 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 and et cetera, and et cetera. But like I said, the quickest way to do this is hold the, uh, the shift, the right shift, right click, hold it and then just delete it. So that's how, that's a, that's a shortcut to where you can just cut your notes and go straight on to the next one, so. cool so now from this point you already have the melody uh the guitar so now at this point it's just a matter of just mapping it out another thing in mind if you're playing your melodies on a midi keep in mind of where you finish and where you end because what the note will typically do is it'll extend over like it'll extend over like this and then when you control a it'll actually highlight the rest of it so anytime that you have anything like this that's actually dragging over, the best thing you can do, but you have to keep in mind. Now I can't slice this whole thing with the red because if you look at the B4, the short end is right there. So what it'll do is it'll cut this end and it'll leave that. So like I said, once you get used to the slicer, you'll, you know, you'll know. So in this situation, it's best to left click, highlight everything, and you see where the red is at? That's what the red indicates what it was going to cut. And use the uh, the highlighter tool. You hold control, left click, hold both of them until you highlight all the selected notes. And then just hit delete. Now, when I make melodies, the best thing for me to do is just allow it to continue on. So really, this is it's not going to be this short. It's actually going to be at least a minute long. So then that way that... The guitar, because when it gets here, this lets me know that it's going to cut immediately. It's not going to be any noise after this. Like, it's just going to cut it. Sometimes it's, it's good because if you want to end it right here, then the reverb will continue to go, even though you cut the note right here. So just continue it, you know, and let it just fade out. But like I said, with melodies, the way that I do it in my format, I literally just let it play all the way out. So then that way I can continue to play and... Sometimes you'd be surprised because while you're playing, you know, you're playing other stuff and it keeps it interesting. It's not the same repetitive thing. Ba da 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 da, ba da 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 da, ba da 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 da, because then it gets annoying. Some people want ba da 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 da, be dee dee da 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 da, dee 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 da 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 da. Like stuff like that is, is keeps it interesting where it's not, it's just not repetitive. So the best thing, like I said, you can do is just extend this whole entire pattern out. Also, it's a, it's a good thing for producers because of the simple fact they have a lot more to mess with when it comes to the melody. They know that it's not going to be the same. At least that's how I do my style. And that's why people always get melodies from me because I don't keep it consistent the whole way through. Even if it's just playing wise or just the effects, it's not going to be the same thing over and over and over. So if we're listening to this, what you could do 
is when it comes to the velocity, you do want to keep this in mind because the higher the velocity, the the harder the strum is on particularly this ample guitar. So keep that in mind too. So what you want to do, honestly, like around the you know first bar or whatever, you know, I really don't want to go beyond that. So I'll just bring it down, you know, maybe the second, third, whatever, just as long as it's not to the top, you know, because then that's when it just, it gets kind of just junky and a whole bunch of other extra stuff. So this is what I got so far. Now, of course, with this, let's add a little the flute, the MK2 flute. Let's add a little counter melody or whatnot to the guitar. So here we go. This is a perfect example of what I mean by going to extend. So now the best way, like I said, the best way to check it to see if it does extend is to control A to highlight everything. And if you see it go past the marker, then that means within your pattern is extending over the last bar. So what you want to do is say, for instance, if you got like a whole bunch of, you know, VSTs or whatever, the best thing you can do have a ghost channel. This the this is kind of the best way to do it. It's, it's multiple ways, but sometimes you can just go to the ghost channels. If I don't see anything extending, and then up here, if you watch this part when I actually get to the flute, it'll kind of uh, compress. So now that you found it, it's like, oh, okay, so this is what's extending. So now if you watch the top, the top is actually going to get smaller, so, or extend out. You see what I mean? And that's what it that's what it does. Then that's when you know you don't have any problems. Then it's like you can keep on going. So now you got this first pattern and you want to keep it going. Sometimes for real, you can just duplicate this, but you don't want the flute. Like I said, when it comes to melodies and stuff, and you're in the stew, this stuff has to be quick. So just go here, um, go towards the top left corner of the pattern, click it, and then just hit M. The only M that's up here is make it unique. So it's going to automatically just make it unique. So all you do is click on there and go to the flute. Just take it completely out. Or what you can do is take out the first half. Or maybe you want to take you just take out the second half. Either way, who's ever going to hear the flute in the beginning, they'll be like, well, I hope it's not coming in on the second part. So the best thing you can do is just let it play out through the first part or whatever. And once you get to the second part, just take it out. Because what producers may do, they may actually take this part and they'll cut it right here for the verse. And then this part would probably be the transition. You see what I'm saying? So that's why it's important to let it play out the way it does. So another thing that will happen is when you go here, say now you want to repeat this part. Like I say, you just click on it and just drop it just like that. And you can just take this part out. When you're doing anything like this, say, for instance, you didn't do that and you want to cut it. That's a bad idea because whatever else is in this pattern is going to cut it like right there. It's going to be a very hard sound. Cause say, for instance, you got a piano and then it gets to a part where everything hits all together. You, you don't want that because you still want the flow of everything to continue on. So do not just cut it right there. Go back to the pattern or whatnot. You can just take this out extend it out or whatever and i mean for this pattern you could just make it unique or you know what i'm saying just keep it going so you can do this and then just keep it going sometimes it does it sometimes it don't you don't get that block 
that like block sound that you're playing, if you don't get that, I mean, just keep going. You can just duplicate it. Well, that time it actually did it, so. Yeah, in a situation like that, you can just do this. So you, you don't have to worry about it doing that boom. It'll just flow into the next part. See? And I mean, that little blad out is not going to matter. Like the small things that may matter to you when you're making stuff, it's not going to matter to the producer. So now at this point, you have the intro, you know, a little bit of hook, you know, going on right here, blah, blah, blah. Then you got the verse. Then if they want to extend the verse, you know, they have this option right here to keep it going. And then this will be the transition. You've already worked up a minute and some change. So you really don't even have to keep going. This is really what it's all about. Like I said, put about 30 melodies. Best believe that they're going to be fire. Follow the four steps. I'm dropping this. Appreciate y'all. It's going to be more videos just like this. So be on the lookout. Make sure y'all got my live notifications on. My post notifications so you guys will know when I'm posting stuff and you know what I got going on. And your boy is out, T-Will. You know, I'm in the stew right now, but I'm about to be out. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.